Welcome to Quarantine Crafts with Titan Robotics. I'm Rosie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a winch. A winch is a hauling or lifting device consisting of a rope, cable, or chain winding around a horizontal rotating drum turned by a crank or motor. On our 2020 robot, we used a winch to help us do a pull-up of sorts at the end of a match. We attached a strong belt to a hook that we made ourselves using our CNC router. Once the hook was on the bar, we had a motor spin a piece of heck shaft, thus winding up the belt and allowing us to climb. We know most people don't have motors at their house, so today I'm going to show you how to make a winch that you can crank with your hand with items you most likely have at your house. You're going to need two paper towel rolls, one bendy straw. If you don't have one of these, you can use a chopstick or even a pencil. An empty thread or ribbon spool, some string, yarn, or ribbon, a piece of cardboard to use as a base, a muffin cup or other small cup, tape, scissors, and some optional items include a hole puncher and markers or paper to decorate your winch. If you want to decorate your cardboard base or paper towel rolls, I recommend doing that first. I decorated mine with a nice Titan Robotics red and blue paper. Now let's start building. We're going to start by attaching our paper towel rolls to our cardboard base. As you can see here, I decided to use a chopstick instead of a straw because it was longer, but use whatever you have at your house. We're using that along with the muffin tin to make sure that we're putting our tubes far enough apart. And then we're going to use three pieces of tape on each tube um, to securely fasten it to that cardboard base. Next, I'm going to take my hole puncher and punch holes on either side of the tube um, about half an inch from the top uh, to put my chopstick through. If you don't have a hole puncher, you can use scissors to create a notch that looks like this in the top of each tube um, and that'll work just fine. Next, I'm running my chopstick through one of the tubes and adding the spool in the middle and then running it through the other tube. After the spool is on, you want to attach the spool to the chopstick using tape so that they move together. Now we're gonna make the bucket. So use your hole puncher or get an adult to help you poke holes with scissors in each side of whatever cup you're using. I'm using a muffin tin, so I used a hole puncher on either side of my muffin tin. Then you're gonna thread your string through the holes. And tie it to itself, creating a sort of triangle shape. Now we're going to put them together. So set the cup on your cardboard base and measure out enough string to reach the spool. Cut the string and tape it to the spool. Once the string is attached, you're all done. You can see I'm turning the chopstick and moving the winch. Try lifting different things with your winch. I tried lifting some fruit snacks and some erasers. Um, you can test out how heavy of things you can lift and really experiment with it. I hope you all enjoyed this STEM craft. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos like this. If you do any of the activities we show you, email a picture to frc5587 at gmail.com. We'd love to see your creations. Until next time, this is Quarantine Crafts with Titan Robotics.